Hollywood actor Terrence Howard has just revealed the biggest and darkest secret about acting. Check this out. As an actor, as um, you're, you're more like a medium. You know, you go into this zone and you really divorce yourself of who you are. You just become a garment that something else puts on. Now, right. a lot of people sit up there and do impersonations of other folks mm -hmm. instead of allowing that spirit, you know, but I sit up and I'll pray for a little bit and go in a dark place, um, mm -hmm. go in the bathroom, turn off the lights, look in the mirror. Um, well, have the light on it first, and then after one minute, turn the light off and search until you find see your own glow, your own aura, and then you watch it change. Wow. And it's a scary thing yeah. because you'll feel like some hands are on you, wow. and you lose a little bit of control of what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you stay with it, you know, you'll you'll be inhabited by mm -hmm. something, and then you walk out, and the character wow. with you, and you got to know how to to say goodbye to it if you really want to yeah, get there. Right, you know, yeah. A lot of people are afraid to empty themselves and be filled up with something else. But, you know, as an actor, you're an emotional prostitute. So just in case you missed it, what this man is describing is doing a ritual where he allows his body to become possessed. That is exactly what he just described here. He goes into a dark place. He turns off all the lights. He looks at himself in the mirror. He says some prayers and does some meditation. He sees his aura in the mirror and then he watches his aura change and he becomes somebody else. He feels hands all around him and he feels something else take control. He loses control of himself. That's possession. Out of his own mouth, he says, you will be inhabited by something that is possession that's letting a different entity inside of your body to take control of you this is the secret behind what these actors do and why they are so good at what they do they are not acting they're not pretending they literally become this character they literally become someone else because they're being inhabited by a spirit he says this is what you come to realize when you really know what you're doing so i'm not saying that all actors the beginning actors novice actors beginners but when you get to a certain level of experience and when you get to a certain level and pedigree of acting this is what happens to you the lord told me a long time ago that these actors are so believable on film because they're actually not acting that is the secret they are becoming demonically possessed in order to carry out these characters he said you allow your body to be used i was telling people this was the case when actress taraji p henson said the same thing when speaking about her role in the color purple it's very spiritual what we do as actors you're on the set you have your chakras all open you're allowing this character to use your body as a vessel and so you have to learn how to flip the switch on and flip it off otherwise it could drive you mad there you have it i told people what's happening is these actors Actors and actresses are becoming demon possessed and people say no they just mean that they get so lost in the character and it's hard for them to come out of the character because they're acting and they're so invested no that's not what they're describing to you that's what you want to believe about it because the truth is hard to swallow sometimes hollywood is dark and the work that these actors and actresses do is dark now some of them may not believe what they're doing is demonic and wicked some of them may not know that it's actually demons entering into your body and using you as a medium to carry out the work of Hollywood if they don't believe in the God of the Bible and the Bible they're not gonna understand that what they're dealing with is demons because they don't believe in angels and demons right they don't believe in God and the devil right they just think that these are just entities entering their body but these are demons this is demonic work on the other hand other actors know exactly who they're praying to they know exactly what's inhabiting their body because they admit that they pray to Satan to help them with roles it was, i remember sometime we do 10 episodes for my show and this last season i was hitting a block like i was like oh i'm not doing it right right so i went in the corner and then i was looking at the wall and i was like come on devil come on devil right? Get, come to me they come to me because i had to do something like crazy right i had nightmares for a month so it does come it or... after like yeah. nightmares every day like, i just felt felt that energy you know and i had to pray and do all stuff to like get rid of it and you call your mom up and you're like you're back to life and mm -hmm. that stuff is real that stuff really is real. Wow, D does it get any more clear than that? Who did he pray to? Who helped him carry out this role? Satan did. It's right in front of your face. Look at what Christian Bale said publicly. Thank you to that geezer over there, Adam. Um, uh, thank you to uh, Satan for giving me inspiration on how to play this role. 
Do you think he's playing around? He's not playing. He's just making it seem like it's a joke, but it's not a joke. So your next question might be, well, why would Satan be possessing people? Why would demons be possessing people to help actors play these roles in Hollywood? Well, to understand that truth, you have to understand the truth about Hollywood and what it even means and why it was started in the first place. And I'm going to expose it and open it up to you guys, but I cannot do it here on these public social media platforms. This is the type of information that people get banned over, blocked over, have their accounts restricted, shadow banned. So so I just can't risk that. You guys are gonna have to head over to my Patreon page where you can view the full and extended version of this video. I'll leave the link in the description. I'll also leave the link right here. Head over right now, subscribe, let's finish this conversation, and I'll see you guys there. As always, God bless you, and shalom.